Well, thank you. Oh, um, I was saying last night, uh, sorry if this one's a bit of a repeat. It's a bit of a repeat story. It's more like an overlap story. Um, I wrote this next song about my grandpa, who's awesome. He's a very awesome man. He's a, he's a character. He's like, a, he's like an old cowboy, uh, farmer dude who uh, retired in his 50s and spent much of the next 30 years traveling around North America, buying up bar signs and animal heads and rifles. And then he built a bar in his basement and he had parties and bands, like loved old country and he was, he was just, he was awesome. And him and my grandmother were super stylish and they were, um, he's not dead, you shouldn't say he was. <laughs> just saying, thank you. Thank you for that, uh, <clears throat> you're right, he's totally not dead. So if you think that that's where this is going, it's not, he's alive, he's kicking it. He's 84, he's kicking it. He still has sex. He's not even just kicking it. Exactly. He told me. He does. He still tries to get the ladies off. And we that's had fine. a very... Oh, wow. <laughs> we had a very awkward, awesome, but also very awkward still um, lunch together a few weeks ago where he was talking about his latest girlfriend and he said that he, he went like this. He, 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 I, I, I want to do both. Um, hold on. Uh, thinking, thinking. I'll say it and you, you say it and I'll do the action. No, no you do the action and I'll say it. Right. Um, you don't want to do it? Okay. <laughs> Can, can you turn that mic on? So, was, oh. so we're sitting there on the couch and he's telling me about his girlfriend and they broke up and he's really upset and you know he gets all sentimental. Because you know what, I just want to say though that the whole part of the story... I know, this is your story, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 oh. no, 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 you can take it on, take it on. But just for the record, uh, the part of the story that Tegan sort of... Um, she sort of cut in a little early. The whole point of the story is that my grandmother died. She passed away. Yeah, but my grandpa, he has a girlfriend now, and... Okay, um, but wait a second. So, just, like, a, can one I just, second. I just feel awkward out here without an instrument, can no. I just say? No. He had a girlfriend, no. and he, he was like, I, can't, I, I just can't get her off. You want to guess? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> and I said, well, maybe that's... You guys are older. She's not. She was, like, 60s, 85, and, um... <laughs> I know. I just flipped that in there. Um, it's true, though, but, um... I shouldn't have told that story, it's really inappropriate, but, um... He was a handsome, he's a handsome He's a handsome, man. he's very friendly and funny, and, and, um, and he, he told, he he told me that, and I said, well, you know, you, you're getting older, I mean, people have sex at 85 and stuff, and he was just like, he's like, oh yeah, your grandma liked to have sex all the way up to 80, and I was like, oh, I wish she hadn't said that, so. We were just having a conversation backstage, and... We're you know what, you know what it is, the key to, to still having sex long-term is nakedness, you know? Because they slept naked their whole lives. Even at 80, we'd be over, we'd be like watching TV and my grandpa would get up buck naked and walk from the bedroom to the bathroom and I'd just be like, oh God. It's called nudity, not it's nakedness. It's called when you're old, there's a certain line that you shouldn't walk around like. Together, together, absolutely. They tell this cute story, they slept in separate bedrooms, but my grandma would wake up in the morning and go, Luke, are you up? And then he would run down the hall naked and get into bed with her. No fucking kidding, they were having sex. So, sorry, keep going. So my grandma died. It was so sad. Like, it was, why are you laughing, weirdos? It's sad. You, they're laughing because they're imagining our grandfather's penis. And that's like, no. That's anyway, not, whatever. That's not, whatever. The point is, is that he is rad, and this song is about him, but it's not because it was before he did the thing where he was trying to get someone off. It was when he was still um, alone. Sad. 60 years he was with my grandmother. And, uh... And they were like together, like Tegan said, like in, in nakedness, uh, right up to the end, right up to the end. So that's, that's not how she fact. died. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> song time. Yeah. Every time I introduce a song, I feel like I need a light change. Ian, a light change mood. Thank you. Just to bring it away from humor, back to sadness. I'm dedicating this next song, by the way, um, both to, uh, to my grandfather in his pursuit of sexual um, release and also uh, to, to Dallas from City of Color because uh, just, yeah, he's amazing. I mean, amazing. I mean, both uh, Girl in a Coma and City in Color, please. Love them. 
love them both. But this is specifically going out to Dallas because, um, well, I'm not going to tell you what he said, but he it was... He slept with my grandpa, too. He did not sleep with our grandfather. But I think he would get along with our grandfather. He's a great, great person. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to sing this one thinking, well, I'm not going to think about Dallas, but I'm dedicating it to him. I'm not going to think about you, Dallas, wherever you are. Why are you dedicating it to him? I don't know. I just feel like it's like, I get really emotional in this song, and I just want to dedicate it to Dallas because he's just, he's awesome and he's emotional. In a good way, in a man, good emotion way. Okay. I need a, I need a light change again though now. I need another one. Yeah. And darker. I need darkerness. Darker. I know darkerness is not a word. Oh, shit has. Anyways. I heard somebody laugh at me for saying darkerness. Are you ready? Tell me that you